The RoboPad is the most advanced massage chair in the market. Gives more depth of massage, the most comprehensive full body benefits, and most lifelike massage feel of any other chair that we've found. Because of all of its advanced options, a lot of people might feel the remote can seem a little bit intimidating. However, the purpose of this video is to provide a quick orientation, really to put you at ease and show you that despite all of its advanced technology, the RoboPad really is easy to use, so you can get the most out of it, both enjoyment as well as the, uh, the therapeutic benefits. So let's get started. First, the best place to start is how to sit down in the chair for the first time. And I know you're probably thinking, well, how hard could it be to sit in a chair? But it's a massage chair, and there are a few things to keep in mind. First, sit back. Make sure your butt's firmly seated in the base of the backrest. The shoulder bags. Make sure that the shoulders are, your shoulders are behind them, not on top or, or crimping those shoulder bags. And the head pillow. Align it just under the back of your skull. This is gonna be important. We talk about the scanning feature a little bit later, but just make sure it's just right, just at the base of your skull, not too low, not so that the shoulders are covered, if you will, by the, by the back or the headrest. And then lastly, think of it as putting your boots on. Um, you wanna point your toes and slide them into the enclosed footrest. You don't want to crunch the airbags because there are airbags on the instep as well as surrounding the feet. And you want to make sure that your feet are in there just right. So one thing to think about when you first sit down in the chair, don't worry if your legs are bent. For example, if you're too tall and your legs feel like they're kind of jacked up there, or if you're too short and you feel like your feet aren't making contact with the foot rollers, if you're too short or you're too tall, we're going to have these adjusted once the massage starts. Okay, let's start with the primary buttons. Everything you need essentially to get years of enjoyment from this chair is right here. There are a lot more buttons behind this door, as you can see here, but we're going to get to these a little bit later. Let's just start with some of the basics. First, most importantly, is the power button. So if you've got an index finger, you can operate this chair as we're going to show you. So when the button's pressed, a couple of things to notice. First thing is, is the scan is initiated. Now this is going on inside the chair. It's actually the rollers coming out, pressing and making contact with the back and gently rolling down the spine, finding where the buttocks is or where the spine terminates and then back up to find out where the shoulders are. The other thing you may have noticed is that the chair is gonna recline slightly, the foot rest raises a little bit. These are all just default positions. We'll talk about how you can fine tune these in a moment. And again, remember the head pillow. When you're sitting back there, make sure that that's seated just at the base of the skull. Next, we're going to talk about what happens when the scan is complete. You'll notice that the best indicator that it's complete is that these blue lights start to blink on the remote and it ticks. You can hear that the beeping noise, that's going to give you 10 seconds to make a decision. Well, let's just say that you haven't pressed any buttons. You'll notice that automatically the chair defaults to a full body massage or the fine massage program at medium intensity. So, if you can press the power button, you may never need to access another button on this remote. But let's go back to the basic controls so you can get even more out of the RoboPad. Let's start with body positioning. This is the circular array of buttons here, just to the right of the primary buttons. You can use these buttons to adjust your body positioning. Now, there are presets that you can press, which are automatically programmed. And by pressing this, it'll just basically adjust the chair into either a more reclined position or raised footrest or some variation of that. So just by pressing that button once or twice or three times you can again go to fully reclined or maybe just a little bit more reclined than the defaults. Remember earlier when we were talking about when you first sat down in the chair and if you were too tall and your legs or knees came up or if you're too short and the foot rollers weren't really making good contact with your feet well, using the body positioning buttons allows you to, to control that. The first one is, let's say you're too short. What we recommend is you bring the footrest up. What this is going to do is it's just going to bring the footrest essentially closer to your torso and keep bringing it up until your feet make good contact with the sole rollers. In the case of a tall person, on the other hand, simply press down. So do a leg press and you can push the footrest away from your body so that the, you can see the airbags of the lower legs make good contact with your calves. Okay, so we've talked about the power button 
initiating an automatic sequence, and making some fine tunes in terms of body positioning. Next, let's talk about how we can use a number of these different preset massage programs. These are basically preset or pre-programmed, and they're going to provide a massage in very distinct sequences for different need states. So we started with fine. That's going to be your automatic preset. That's a full all body massage incorporating a lot of different massage techniques. There's also the relax button, which is again good for pre bedtime to help you relax to sleep better. Stiffness is a preset massage program that's particularly good after strenuous uh, physical activity. And then there's air pressure. By pressing the air pressure button, you basically turn off the rollers or the massage hands in the back and shoulders, and it simply focuses on acupressure in the arms, shoulders, legs, and feet. The next primary button that we'll take you through is the time button. You'll notice that it's there in red, and that correlates to the length of the massage program. The RoboPad's automatically going to default every time to a 20-minute massage, but by pressing the time button, you can increase the length of your massage up to 40 minutes. So each press of the button adds five minutes of massage time. The next primary button we'll talk about is the Waist Stretch Program. Now the Waist Stretch Program, again, is a preset automated program. By pressing this button, what the RoboPad is going to do is essentially going to focus on the muscles of the lower back and spine that are 10, to, or I should say, are 10 to uh, be related to lower back pain. So it's going to go through a sequence of massage techniques for the spine and lower back, and then the chair will gently stretch. Now, what it's going to do by stretching is it's going to apply pressure to the shoulders and to the lower legs, and you can see that it's providing very gentle tie stretching techniques. The first tie stretching technique is what's called a chest or pec stretch. You'll notice that it's pushing the shoulders back to help open up the torso. By applying pressure to the lower legs and reclining in a full position, it's also helping to elongate or provide gentle traction to the lower spine. Again, to alleviate lower back pain. So you can press the power button and the scan will automatically initiate and then you can choose from these preset massage programs as we've shown you. The only other two buttons that I'd like to focus on, as you'll notice, is something that's called shoulder adjustment. Now, let's just say during the massage programming that the shoulders, or the shoulder location, you might prefer it to be a little bit lower, or maybe a little bit higher in the trapezius muscles. Well, you can use these buttons to override the automatic scanning. So you can make it so that it adjusts to a lower shoulder location or higher on the shoulders. And as well as if for any reason perhaps the headrest pillow was perhaps interfering with the RoboPad's ability to find your shoulders, you can use this button to essentially, or these two buttons, to essentially reset your scan. So that's a complete review of what we'll call the primary buttons on the remote. Before we go into the advanced buttons that you'll see underneath that door, remember to sit properly in the chair, press the power button, wait for the scan to complete, and select a preset massage program based on your needs at the moment, and you're off and running. And remember, if you want to extend the massage time or make an adjustment to your shoulder positioning, raise or lower the backrest or the footrest, you can do these with these simple primary buttons. So let's go into these advanced features, these buttons underneath that door. First, before we go into each button, let's start with what we'll call the three groups of buttons. You'll notice from top to bottom, Think of it as the body, if you will. Let's go top to bottom, just as if we were going top to bottom from the top, which is the upper body, essentially the massage hands that massage the shoulders and the back. The middle group of buttons are for air pressure for the lower back, the hips, the buttocks, and lower legs. And the bottom button, this is the feet, or specifically this controls the reflexology rollers on the soles of the feet inside the enclosed footrest. A lot of people will ask us, can I control different body parts independently? Well, the answer is yes, as you can turn on or off different body areas as indicated by these three groups of buttons. Let's start with the top buttons, or those that control the massage for the neck, shoulders, and back, or control the massage hands inside the RoboPad. 
The first top two buttons are back intensity. This essentially controls how deep the massage hands reach towards your back, neck, or shoulders. This is an important part of the RoboPad's 3D mechanism. So how far the rollers or the hands extend and how much pressure they apply. By pressing the buttons up or down, you can simply and quickly adjust the amount of pressure involved with the massage. So now that we've covered that you can control the intensity within the rollers in the back and shoulders, we're gonna next go to the spot. Think of this as where do you want your massage? The spot button has three different functions. One is just as the name implies. You can focus the massage hands on one specific spot by, you can see on the indicator, the dot on the torso. By pushing the up or down buttons on either side of the spot, you can move the rollers to just the right area or location that you want to focus the massage. The second spot feature or function is applying the massage to a localized point. So basically finding a very specific spot and then telling the chair to massage the area six inches above as well as six inches below that spot. And you can see on the spot function icon, the two tight, arrow, two tight arrows that indicate that this function is selected. And then the last spot feature is a full back and shoulder massage. So by choosing this one, you see the arrows on the torso go to the widest setting the function is a full back and shoulder massage, the hands traveling from the base of the spine to the neck and shoulders. Okay, now we've told the chair where we want the massage. Next is to select what type of massage to give when it gets there. We're gonna go through each button individually. And we'll start at the top left. First is the shoulder button. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it's when the RoboPad's hands will reach out over the shoulders and grasp and massage the shoulders. It's gonna use that memorized point that was found during the scan or was fine-tuned by pressing the shoulder adjustment buttons. The ability for the massage hands to grasp is an important and advanced feature of the chair. It makes for a particularly good and frankly luxurious shoulder massage. The next button is knead and tap. This is a combination of Swedish and percussion massage techniques. Kneading is a circular, deep tissue massage technique that really loosens tightness, stiffness, and soreness in muscles. And tapping is like that karate chop style massage that helps boost circulation and further loosen tight muscles by breaking up lactic acid accumulation, helps flush out these toxins from the muscle tissue. The next button is knead. This is Swedish massage only, so not combined with tapping. And the next button is tapping which is percussion massage only. So not combined with kneading is, is the case with the combination kneading and tapping button that we showed you above. The next button is shiatsu. This is a Japanese style massage technique that incorporates focused finger or thumb pressure to the muscles. The rumble pad provides a particularly effective shiatsu massage because of what we'd already talked about, it's unmatched 3D depth extension. So it really allows the finger pressure to extend up to about five inches into the muscle tissue. And shiatsu is particularly effective in relieving trigger points. The next button is 3D. This is a combination of kneading, tapping, pushing, and rolling. And you can press the button multiple times to turn on various combination of these three techniques. Next is the speed button. Again, pretty self-explanatory. However, this controls the speed of the massage hand movements from slow to quite fast. This is really a personal preference. Next is the width control. This controls how wide the massage hands reach or how narrow along the back and shoulders. One thing to note when it comes to these buttons is that as with width adjustment, this only applies to certain massage techniques. For example, shiatsu, tapping, and rolling. Next are the middle group of buttons we talked about if you kind of go top to bottom. These buttons control the pressure applied by the airbags to the lower back, the hips, the buttocks, and the lower legs. By pressing these buttons, you can turn these airbags on or off, or you can, as indicated on the screen there, change the amount of airbag pressure or the intensity of the acupressure massage. This, the particular button that's labeled arthrosis traction, 
What this does is it controls the movement up and down of the footrest. It's worth noting the RoboPad is going to automatically apply airbag pressure to the lower legs and feet and move the footrest up and down to affect gentle stretching of the legs. By pressing this button, you can turn this automatic movement on or off. And then lastly, the bottom button, which we call the foot or reflexology roller. This controls the rollers that are at the bottom of the footrest or the massage that's applied to the soles of the feet. By pressing this button, you can either increase or decrease the speed of the sole rollers or completely turn them off if you prefer. And then the last button is heat. Pretty straightforward. This applies infrared heat to the lumbar region as well as the lower legs. So this completes this tutorial of the RoboPad remote control. Here's to many, many years of full body therapeutic massage in your elite massage chair. And don't forget that after you've reviewed this video and you still have questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We are always standing by to help.